Hello, welcome to this lesson. And today's topic is consumer, market, and society. So we'll be looking at the three things, consumer, market, and society. What is the meaning of consumer? Consumer is a person or a group of people who buys and use products or pay for services at a particular time. Yes, a consumer is a person who buy things to use for their use or to own, right? Also, they pay for services, services such as uh, you go to a salon to have your hair cut for the guys or the ladies to make their hair. That is a service. So you pay for such service and you are a consumer. Okay, what is a market? A market is a place where buyers and sellers are in contact with one another to buy and sell goods and services. Is a place where buyers and sellers meet. So it can even be on the internet because today we have people who market their products or goods on the internet and other persons pay for those materials, pay for those products. So that is a market, a place where buyers and sellers are in contact. Then what is the meaning of society? A society is a group of people living together in an organized community with laws and tradition controlling the way they relate and behave towards one another that is a society is a group of people living together in an organized community then we we'll move further to something important in this topic which is consumer education what is consumer education consumer education is the education given to the consumer about various goods and services. You know, education is passing information to the consumer. So a consumer needs to know, get important information about the various goods in the market and services also. And consumer education involves both the consumer, the business, and the government. This three group are all involved in making consumer education important there are various needs for consumer education and number one need for consumer education is that it creates a healthy and cordial relationship a healthy and cordial relationship relationship between cons consumers relationship between producer and consumer yeah that's one of the need for consumer education and number two consumer ed education encourage consumers to report to the appropriate government agency when necessary yes for example the consumer faces challenge with goods that has been produced or goes in the market and they are not satisfied with those goods or the goods are harmful they can report to some government agencies and those agencies will take the right actions on those producers all right another need for consumer education is to enable the consumer know their rights and obligation as a consumer you need to know your rights and you need to know what is expected of you as a consumer now let's move further to the importance of consumer education is consumer education important let's find out number one importance of consumer education is the value for our money yes the value for money what's the value for money the value for money simply means what money can buy at a particular time that's the value for money so every consumer needs to know the value of their money then secondly it promotes consumers respect yes you no know, if the consumer have the right information about products and services it will promote consumer respect the producers will respect the consumers and give them the right products all right number three importance of consumer education is it opens the consumer's eyes wow yes because this consumer education inform the consumer now, knowledge is power so the consumer will be able to know his rights or a right and obligation so they begin to see and think differently and they will not be exploited by producers the next the uh, consumer education 
another important of it is that for better financial decision yeah we if the consumer is well informed he or she will be able to make the right decision on how to spend or use their money okay so let's move further what are the consequences of lack of consumer education are there consequences yes so number one consequences of lack of consumer education is that it it can encourage producers to supply poor quality products ah no when they know the consumer don't know what to expect or their rights producers may start making inferior goods or even harmful goods goods that are not good they said it it encouraged them to supply poor quality goods but when they know that the consumer are well informed they will make sure they provide or produce good quality goods number two lack of consequences that it makes consumer ignorant so with that consumer education the consumer is ignorant he lacks knowledge he knows nothing about the markets the goods in the market and services so that is another consequences and number three consequences that it will lead to consumers not getting the right satisfaction from the product purchase no if you don't know about a particular product particular goods and you're just going to the market and buy it at the end of it you may feel disappointed because that is not what you were expecting but if you know much about a particular product then you know what you're going to the market to buy so you see it can lead to unsatisfaction from a particular product and lastly uh, consequences of lack of education consumer education is that society and economic development will be slow yes definitely if the consumers lack information about the goods and services in the market and the producers are producing low quality goods it will definitely affect the development of the society and the economy of the nation all right consumer education offers more than knowledge and skills it promotes critical thinking problem solving and action so that's what consumer education does for us as consumers it promotes critical thinking problem solving and action i believe you've learned something today thank you for watching